West Coast oyster farmers are fielding calls from other farmers in the Gulf of Mexico. And work is underway to replace the shellfish breeding beds damaged by the massive oil spill. But as A News reporter Brent Shearer shows us, while shellfish farmers on Vancouver Island are anxious to help, they say there isn't much they can do. Plucked out of the water this morning, these oysters can be shipped to just about anywhere in North America in less than 24 hours. But contrary to what some might think, there hasn't been any calls from the Gulf states for oysters following the devastating BP oil spill that has wreaked havoc on the shellfish industry there. The Gulf oyster is a much cheaper oyster than our Pacific oyster. Uh, and it usually goes onto the plate for around 50 cents an oyster. Um, our oysters, you'll find in oyster bars, are anywhere from $2.50 to $3.50 a piece. This is where the product is, some of the product is bought. Keith Reed doesn't believe the demand for fresh oysters in the Gulf has reached a point where people there are willing to pay a hefty premium for West Coast oysters. That's not to say that it's impossible, but um, we haven't noticed any difference in our sales. The Gulf oyster is a different species than the Pacific oyster you see here on the coast. Some have wondered whether seed oysters used to start farms could be shipped to the Gulf to assist in the rebuilding. But the BC Shellfish Growers Association says while the industry here is sympathetic to what their Gulf colleagues are going through, there's little they can do to help. When growers are shut down due to the oil spill, they're not going to reopen quickly. And in fact, if they're actually suffering damage from the spill, it might be years and years and years. In fact, maybe even never that they reopen. So it's not like they'd just quickly be looking to buy more seed. The Pacific oyster is seen as a much higher quality product that can command a higher price than the Gulf oyster. Now we say that here in the Pacific Northwest, but uh, uh, I'm sure that the people on the East Coast and the Southern states have developed a taste for their Eastern oyster and would say the same about that. It's still too early to tell how badly the oil spill has affected the shellfish industry in the Gulf. But if it is as devastating as some have predicted, then perhaps over time seafood lovers in the Gulf will begin paying big bucks for our shellfish. In the Comox Valley, Brent Shearer, A News.